All right, y'all. So y'all know we back. And yes. I got another story for y'all, okay? Somebody sent it to me anonymously. And um, yeah. So this one says, Dear Crazy Bitch from Anonymous. My man keep calling me a hoe because I like going out with my hoe friends. But I'm faithful to him. They just fun as hell. So how do y'all feel? Does this make me a hoe? <laughs> why her friends I think it's so many different things. <laughs> Number one, I don't know why the first thing that comes to my head is... um. He sounds so like uh what's insecure <laughs> insecure, insecure yeah. number one <laughs> number two, why don't you just get somebody that you can go and hang out and be like I know couples that hang out together and they have fun, they don't put each other down for it want to hang out and do things um or number four, or just choose do you want your relationship or do you want the fun mm. and number four, how do you know <laughs> that they hoes? How you know they hoes? Well, I want to know, know that your friend's question. a hoe. You oh, know. so so she been telling her friends, telling and him probably. about her friends being hoes. Probably. Well, number one, maybe my first suggestion she is, how about you shut. keep? keep I'm going out with Sally from church. Oh, okay, <laughs> but you telling them that they hoes. okay, girl? You you going to you going you, you going like, out with Sally from church to three fifty? <laughs> so she takes good she put herself in this situation. Yeah, don't. Like you shouldn't you be going to be back. smart about what you're telling your dude. Yeah, about your whole friend. He's gonna be like, oh, you just in the bed, kiki with him, kiki. Mm -hmm. But it's like, can I go out with them? Right. Pillow talking, pillow talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Panda? Well, we already know who used to pillow talk in their relationship. Shut up, Panda. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I don't really judge. I know I used to get judged because I used to do OnlyFans. But oh. I guess sometimes oh, wow. I had talk and stuff. Some people don't see how I did OnlyFans. Well, it was nice to make some money, and I like to take pictures. Um, So some people might be like, oh, well, you do OnlyFans. And, well, okay, I did self-masturbation. So oh. I wasn't like everybody else who would be sucking random dicks and, like, having raw sex with ran damn near almost <laughs> every other guy. <laughs> so at least, at, least, at least I'm real with it. I just do self-masturbation. Yeah. So, so so do you still have this OnlyFans? Mm -mm, I oh, had been okay. got rid of it like a couple of months ago. It Sorry. was nice money, but I, I mean, I'm getting older. And plus, like, whoever else is doing OnlyFans, like, you just enjoy it while you can. Because, you know, when you get a certain age, it's like, no one wants to keep seeing that. Well, maybe they do. But I just feel like me personally, like, I don't, that's not something that I want to keep doing for a long time. That's true. You do kind of age so out of certain things. You feel like people looked at you as if you were a, a hoe because you did the OnlyFans. Yeah, but then when people saw my content, they were like, oh, you just do this. Like, you're not busting it open. No, I'm not. Right. I'm not. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what makes you a hoe then? What 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 makes a person a hoe? See, that's the thing, right? Like, it's so subjective. Oh, yeah. my goodness. So, like, for me, personally, like, what my whole facts would be, right? Mm -hmm. I grew up tomboy brothers like whatever so i've always been the homie mm -hmm. and i got along with men way better than i got along with women especially growing up in atlanta okay. so for me i would get with a man and he'll be like oh you you always got some friends you always got some homies like who is this hitting your line who is this that and third and i'm like mm -hmm. bruh I ain't doing nothing with him. And that's where, the, like, the insecurity comes from. Because don't get me wrong, I did have some hoe friends, too. We, they be, this girl telling the truth, they be fun as hell. And <laughs> but what makes the hoes the hoes, though? But that's like, the thing, right? It's subjective. Because we could sit here and talk about body count. And you could sit here body and... Body count is a big one. A lot, people talk but about do you, body count. a lot of people do talk about body count, mm -hmm. right? But now, I think you could talk about body count when you, like, in high school at 14, 16, 17, maybe 18 years old. But when a girl is 25, 26, 27, she's in her career, she's doing what she's doing, don't worry about what's on my body. Well, this one guy that I know, he recently told me that he was told by, you know, someone that he respected, an older gentleman, that for women, anything over eight was like, she's a hoe. What? Oh, that's wow. a random number, though. That is, eight. That is how you like, come out seven, not how five, you come out with that number? not three, like eight. What? Eight. Eight. Some eight. people would say three, but it's like, why does that matter? Like, nigga, you done slept with half the block. Why you worry about what was <laughs> But you know what's crazy standards. to me? Yeah. No, but you know what's crazy to me, right? They don't want us out here having sex, but they slept with half the block. So who y'all having sex with? 
Big facts. <laughs> Who y'all <laughs> say sweet? All facts. Like, <laughs> oh, maybe it's the the one. Ho- I don't know. It's the one. They sleep with their homies. That's what they doing. They sleep with their homies. One hole on the block. Everybody. So, in my mind. When I think of hoe, and this mm. might be old school, I, I think of a promiscuous woman mm. that promiscuous might sleep with. So she might meet you today and be like, oh, he's awesome. And then go have sex with him. And then the next day, meet another guy and be like, oh, he's awesome too. And sleep. I just, in my head, when I think of hoe, I just think of a person that is really promiscuous and likes to sleep with many people. people. I don't know if there's a special number, like, after Mm-mm. eight or number or number. No, there have know? been women who were in the industry. I saw two women over a year ago in an article. Like, they're in their 70s or 80s. They admitted to having sex with over 500 people. <gasps> Ooh, wow. Ooh. That's Jesus. a lot. My vagina hurt right now. That's a lot of pap They have sex with <laughs> over 500 <laughs> men Ooh. each. And wow. they said they made good money, and they're in their 70s saying this. So it's kind of like, well, shit. Like, they might have been porn stars, but it's like, I don't I don't care what you do. If you want to be a hoe, go be a hoe. I'd rather you do that than be some fake Christian woman talking about some Virginia yeah, shit. Yeah, absolutely. Like, but I think, like, get married. I think for, so specifically on the question, right, for me, what would make somebody a hoe would be, I guess, like, Let's say, well, not let's say, we all are friends. <laughs> but, you know, we're all friends or whatever, and y'all meet my dude, and y'all trying to get on my dude. Oh, that's a hoe. Yeah. That's a hoe. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and you a raggedy-ass bitch, and I'll slap the hell out of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, I can agree to that. Absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. sleep with my man, you a hoe. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So yeah. We, that's, that's one right yeah. there, for sure. I don't sure. think numbers, though. Okay, well, does it make you a hoe if you go out all the time? No. No. Why do people, I literally was just having a conversation with an older gentleman who was basically like looking out for me, trying to let me know like, hey, I see you're always out. Or if I'm dating a guy, he'll say, yeah, um, I got some feedback from people in your city. They say you're on the scene. Okay, so I like to go out. I hang out. I get cute, hang out with my girls, and I go home. What what about that makes people? Is it that we look too uh, available all the time? Mm-hmm. Does it look thirsty that mm-hmm. I'm at, at events? Does it look because all of my friends who know me knows at the end of the night I go home and I go to sleep. Like yeah. yeah. So what about that? You know, and half the time when we go out, we're going out just to be cute, and we mm-hmm. actually get a kick out of turning guy down the whole yeah. night. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> you know just to go there and look cute, get attention, and go home. Yeah. So what about that? Why is that so frowned upon? If I'm single and I'm out all the time. Who cares? They're like, well, what kind of guy will want you if you're always out all the time? So what kind of guy is going to see me if I'm at home all the time? Yeah. Not that I'm yeah. out trying to find a guy, but I'll be home when I'm when I'm with my man. I was yeah. out of the scene for yeah. 13 years when I had a man. Now I don't have one. I'm popping back out. What is wrong with Absolutely. me living my life? Why do I have to be judged? Because I like to go out and hang out. Do you think it's the places that you go? So like, and I'm not, I'm just asking, I'm being, you know. Mm-hmm. Is it the places? Do they automatically assume if you're going to the club, like, you know, certain scenes are considered Mm -hmm. promiscuous just by, you know, nature, right? So, like, the club or bars and stuff like that. Like, if you were going Mm -hmm. to the movies all the time and going to the museum, I think people would be like, oh, (laughs) a nice young lady. (laughs) But is that probably what it is? I think that's what it is. Um, Because I am a partier, right? And... I, I want to party right now when we done. So it's like, for me, I think... I'm serious. Y'all want to go yeah. grab some emotions? Okay, cool. So, I said I wasn't going to drink anymore. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's like, when I got with my man, he's a homebody. And I still have that party ways in me that I'm like, well, why don't we party together? You mm-hmm. know? And like, let's go have fun mm-hmm. because I like... I like getting drunk with my man and going home with my man. Like, that is yeah. that is so lit to me. But when you're single, I guess people look on the outside looking in. It's like, this girl ain't never home. Like, she ain't got nothing going for herself. Because like I said, growing mm-hmm. up in Atlanta, it's nothing but parties. Mm-hmm. Day in, day out. Yeah. So I was that way, too. When I was single, I'm outside. Yeah. Like, I'm having fun. I'm in my 20s, and y'all want me to sit at home with a cat? I don't think so. I don't even like cats. Yeah. So, yeah. what? like, what are y'all yeah. talking about? I Definitely. think it's insecurities. Insecurity. Yeah. I don't want you... I remember one time I was leaving the house uh, when I was with my ex. He did allow me to go out one time, right? 
a couple of times. And he's like, well, what do you have on? I'm like, the same type of stuff I like to wear when I go out. Yeah. Right. Remember when you met me? Exactly. And that's, <laughs> that's what I hate. Yeah. They they forget sometimes, like said, my ex used that, like when I would walk out the house, like, remember, no, 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 remember, this is how I dress. This is how, like, you know, yeah. oh, your, your booty cheeks out. Your, this. It's like, insecurity. But, but that's how, when you met me, that's why you liked me, because my booty cheeks And they don't want exactly. anybody like, else liking you or yeah. giving you attention. So. You know what pisses me off? Oh, my God. Okay, this is what pisses me off, right? Um, it's like not even just the going out, the taking pictures on Instagram. So you could like mm. all these girls half naked, this and third, but let me put a nice little cute picture. I wanna feel sexy. Not I don't gotta be in my lingerie, yeah. but like if I'm in my bathing suit mm-hmm. or something, mm-hmm. you know, and you like take that down, take that down. Mm-hmm. But let me go through your like list real quick because exactly. oh, I'm just this... trying to do what you be liking. Okay, okay, okay. like that. You know? I'm trying to keep you happy. Yeah. Right. And so <laughs> this is petty, y'all, but I used to be like that with my ex. My thing was, like, I'm going to put some clothes on when you stop liking pictures of all these hoes. Oh. Like, so when you start acting right and, you know, <laughs> then, I, then I'm going to start then acting I'll put right. on my turtleneck. Then I'll, right, I'll put on my turtleneck. <laughs> <you> so, <laughs> turtleneck. Let me ask y'all this. If you hang out with four hoes, are you the fifth? No, no, does it count. automatically make you a hoe because you hang out with hoes? No, I gotta make sure these hoes get home safe. So like the <laughs> we the pound. I, like she said, they fun. I, like I, 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 didn't, I don't judge people based on what they do in their personal sex life. That has nothing to do with me. And honestly, if, and I hate, and I hate to admit this right now. Some of the best times in my life, some of the places that I've been able to go to, the penthouses we've been able to to stay in, the parties, the VIPs have been because my hoe friends have opened the door and I walked right in. So it's like, why not get the benefits of the, the... the whole activity, and you don't even got to do the whole activity. No, so right. what's, why yeah. she got to be, gonna, she gonna I'm not a hoe, I'm smart. <laughs> I'm capitalizing, and maybe I am a pimp. We the pimp. Okay, mm. what you going to do about it? <laughs> yeah, I've had some fun having my whole day, so. <laughs> <laughs> See, you guys, I haven't had. You my, never had a whole face? I never face? had a whole face. I have never. See, so I told face. myself, right. <laughs> I told myself for the first time in my life, I do want to have a one night stand. I do. Oh my god, I've never done that either. Listen, no, I've done it. I I finally like did did it. it. Yeah. So (laughs) I went ahead, and it was after a major breakup. I was like the good girl, like whatever. Even though like the misconception, your whole facts and stuff. I was a good girl in a relationship, faithful in a relationship, whatever, whatever. Right when I got out the relationship, you know how you watch the movies and they like, dang, she just met him. Yeah. Now they go mm-hmm. back to the apartment, they ripping the clothes off, and I'm like, oh, this is it got me hot and bothered. So I'm like, <laughs> I want to try this one day, but I never like really did it. So the crazy part about it is, oh my god, if he watches this, all right. So the crazy thing about this is, is that I ended up going to Vegas. Okay. And it was, like, my third time going to Vegas. So I was already in and out of Vegas, like, never did nothing in Vegas. Went to Vegas, met this guy. You know, they were, like, they they were of status and stuff. And um, I was like, dang, he fine. You know, like, whatever. So we were drinking this and third, and we did the do. <laughs> so I was expecting him to exit stage left when we was done. Come to find out, y'all. <laughs> Come to find out he lives in Detroit. <gasps> yeah, so you so, came back home and saw him at the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, 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 no. So he lives in Detroit. At the time, I wasn't living in Detroit. I was living in oh, Atlanta. Right, right, right. But okay. I was moving to Detroit. So I was spitting game. I was oh like, oh, yeah, God. I'm going to come see you. Like, and I thought he was spitting game. You know, he just got done, like, because he couldn't do, like, the football thing no more because of, like, injuries and stuff. Okay. And he kept in contact with me. So he literally left, like, the next day. And I'm like, y'all, I just wanted to have sex. Like, I didn't want this to be something, you know? And they're like, but he trying, he trying. So I, I guess it wasn't like a one-night stand because we actually eventually dated. Oh. But that was like my mental state. Like, I yeah. wanted this. To, so it kind of was a one-night stand, but then it we... Kinda was it kind of was It kind of wasn't. So I'm like, I still yeah, never I really had it. A true one-night stand. You want a true one-night stand? I don't. Mm-mm. I'm uh, not that person yeah, she, at all. She, she, if no. we have sex, we together. <laughs> <laughs> we go together. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, like Lauren, I never had a hoe phase. Mm-hmm. But like when I would break up with my ex, I would try to like go and yeah. do little things. But once I would get to the sex part, 
I would have sex with the person like once. Wasn't a one night stand. We were talking for a while. Uh, okay. Led up to sex, but after we did it, it was like, ew, this sucks. I'm going back to my ex. And it would send me <laughs> send me back home every time to work stuff back out with my ex. Yeah. So it would be like, I'm trying to be for the streets and the streets keep sending me back home. So now that Lauren, she's newly single yes. again in her 30s. I'm single again in my 30s. It's like we watch all these shows and stuff like Sex in the City, all this stuff. Yeah. Like, who want to be fun to just be single and go have sex? But then it's like, it's just <laughs> not that easy. It's not that easy it's because not, yeah. now everybody knows you. Everybody right. knows me. Mm -hmm. If oh, I just had sex with Lauren last week. Oh, Lauren, yeah. It's like no, it, it wouldn't. You be, can't do it in the city. It's not like, it's not like oh, this is back in my twenties because right. I, in my head, I think Drea said something like this before, talking about the uh, does your whole wholeness expire? Oh, it's expired, yeah. And yeah. I'm thinking that too because it's like, does it sit on your credit report for ten years <laughs> and then it drops off? <laughs> if we start now. It's going to take us till we 50 for people to stop forgetting what happened. She, she ain't no hoe no more. So, so that's, that's what we have to consider at yeah. this age. Now, if you're trying to be a, in the professional like mm -hmm. line of career, trying to do certain things, trying to have people take you serious, yeah. it's, it's really hard to just if you want give husband, in to that, that type of stuff. Another husband. But another, is it, though? Know. Okay, so, like, we talk about these celebrities out here, right? Mm -hmm. Even though we don't know their body count, we know they all date each other. Yeah. So right. speaking of, like a Lori Harvey, right? Okay. Okay. Y'all think that people don't take her seriously because she dated multiple men in such a short amount of time span? Like, what is that? Because I feel like when we get too much caught up into those thoughts mm -hmm. about like, oh, who's worried about us and who's this and who's that? Like, y'all lived y'all life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not saying like that y'all lived y'all life where it's over. Y'all did oh, yeah, the... it ain't over. It ain't over. Right. So okay. that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is y'all got the kids. Y'all right. had we that long right length way. marriage. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. had that long length relationship. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it took y'all 20s. It, yeah, did. it did. It so, did. So them twenties was. I see what you're trying to talk us into. You were having a whole thing. I just want y'all to have a little fun. I want y'all to have a little fun. Maybe let's leave out the country then or something. Leave right? out the country. Know, but I can't be here sitting across. The, I don't know why. All my dudes be sitting at the same tables at the same place. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> right. And, you don't want to get caught. And up. It don't even be that deep, but it's just I, I get what you're saying, but certain way guys talk more than we do they yeah. do when i say i hear some of these conversations and they all talking about the same females i, I don't want to be in that list of names that y'all talking about especially in depending on the circle that you in or circle that you run or you know what i mean like then you start getting to it where you know they could run and like sit in the same circle so now like say you're at an event you're somewhere and now you don't want to have to be running and like <laughs> like oh hey john Hey, how you doing? But then, like, running over here, like, oh, hey, Tim. Like, you know, just like that. Could, I was in that situation. Kind of exhausting. Let me ask y'all this. Does reputation for your partner matter? Mm -hmm. Like, if a dude was to say, listen, queen, my guy said you for the streets. So I can't put you on my. Do you feel like that's okay? Or do you feel like they should judge you solely based off of what? You showed them. Yeah, for sure. Like, you should judge me based off of me. Mm -hmm. Because if we were to backtrack a little bit and we're speaking about, you know, me being in the club, me being this and me being that, like, oh, she be out all the time. She always with X, Y, and Z. I know who she run with, whatever, whatever. But you met me single me. You mm -hmm. haven't met me in a relationship me. Yeah. You know, like, when y'all ain't talking about the time when I was in a relationship for four years and I moved in with my exactly. ex and I ducked off of Instagram, that mm -hmm. is why I'm not a socialite now. Like, y'all not <laughs> talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. talking about after I got out the relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's like when a guy come to me, because I'm going to look at the guy the same way, right? What you showing me? Like, right. if you, if I'm hearing, like, or not hearing, but if I'm seeing, like, you texting this girl, or let's say they all see us hanging out, mm -hmm. and one slide in my DM, but I just don't message him back fast enough, but now he's sliding the panda mm -hmm. DM, and now he's like, that's what's going to make me be like, oh, yeah. nah, mm -hmm. like, you good, you know? Mm -hmm. But for me, he needs to get to know me because I can be that woman, and I am that woman. It's just mm -hmm. when I'm not in a relationship, I'm not, and I don't need to be. 
Is yeah. it the same on the flip side for you? Like on the dudes and if you heard all these girls, as soon as you put them, put them out there on Instagram, here come all the DMs. I about mean, but you got to think about it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, but you got to think about like the man that I'm with now, you mm-hmm. know? So it's like, I, I am going to have those situations where a girl going to slide in my DMs because of who he is. Mm-hmm. And I am going to have them situations where like they see us happy. I already see them DMing him now and we be laughing together about it. And they be like, oh, that's cute. And ha ha ha. And I'll be like, <laughs> Girl, I will yank your motherfucker. Like, what? You know, but we, like, literally be laughing about it now. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you just have to trust your partner. And if that's yeah. who you want, shouldn't nobody stop that besides that person? I know. Yeah. I made that mistake before. But that's another we, story. We're not going like, <laughs> <laughs> <Panda. laughs> to say whole other episode. No, whole other episode. Okay, we're going to talk about it later. Yeah. Why do men feel like we can't have platonic relationships with other men? I'm like, can does you? anybody ever? I can. Go I have through a, that. Yeah, for sure. So back to my relationship now, right? And it's a. I'm not gonna go too much in detail, but he has a specific like best friend who's a female. Mm. They're not as close anymore, but um, like. Y'all know I go through phones. So, <laughs> I mean, I had to make sure that he was aligned to me. And I never saw any messages, okay. anything like that, whatever, whatever. I have a male best friend. He knows about mm-hmm. my male best friend. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have platonic relationships. Matter of fact, I saw a TikTok. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so funny. I saw this TikTok, and the girl was like, Bae, would you feel some type of way if I had, like, male friends and Santa? And he was like, nah, you don't need to have no male f- friends and all this other stuff. And she was like, well, why not? And he was like, because I don't trust them. Mm. And then she was like, but is it okay for you to have male, I mean, female friends? And he was like, yeah, it's okay for me to have female friends. And she was like, why not? And he had looked, and he was like, oh, shit, she just caught me in something. Like, because if you can't trust a man, you're my man, man so now right. I can't trust you. And yeah. it's like, why are you putting so much pressure on that? I just think, like, it's a insecurity portion of things. Now I think it's a respect factor that my best friend or my homie ain't going to be calling me at mm-hmm. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Hell, past midnight, 10 o'clock in the mm-hmm. morning. Your friend ain't going to be texting you late at night like, hey. Yeah. Like, no, you got to yeah. respect it. So with your then male best friend, how long had y'all been friends like how long had y'all known each other like had it been like since childhood no it hasn't or... been since childhood okay. it's been i've known him though for six years six years okay. yeah yeah because i don't know you know i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you i do not think that men and women can be platonically friends i'm just really? being honest and i haven't yet to meet a man who just wanted to be my friend and oh, okay. i even when i think we just cool kiki mm. and then they hit me with the damn, you fine, or something. You know, I'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, that's what we we going with? I thought we was cool. Like, right. yeah. So I just don't think, it's just by nature. I just don't think it's possible. You know, I feel like I've seen a lot of situations where there have been, you know, those female best friends who was just waiting. They were yeah. just waiting in the in yeah. the cut for him to finally realize that you're the, the one. Yeah. And and they end up, be, you know, getting together, getting married, whatever. But I think there's pr- always like a little bit when it comes to opposite sex, when you have those friends, mm-hmm. like some type of attraction, some type mm-hmm. of, and then y'all know all each other's business. So you're super yeah. close. There's an intimacy level to it. So I personally, you know, and I, I don't think so. And I would feel some kind of way if my man had, a, like, and especially, and I think it's levels too, right? If my man had a female friend when we met, I mean, I can't really say nothing, but at a certain point, like say then we're like in a serious relationship or we get married, like you're not about to be hanging out with her like that. You ain't about to be on the phone with her like that. Like it's just like they said, it's a, a respect thing. Yeah. But that's that's just me. But I think that's like, because that's the conversation we was having in Vegas actually when we were speaking about, when, when Delmar brought up the conversation with like, if my female friends invite me somewhere, my girl's coming. Mm. Simple. So it's like, why would I go out of town and my girl can't come? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not coming. Now, if y'all gonna host us as a re- like as a couple, then okay, cool. I would like my friends because my brother has friends that he has since childhood. Okay, you know, I moved around a lot, so I don't necessarily have that. But for him, he does. So I grew up in that space where our friends are our family. Mm-hmm. So I'm not looking at him like some maybe down the line we need to get together mm. no he knows my family he's like my brother you know and i think like as long as that relationship is like that now yeah. i don't approve of my man 
just meeting a female randomly. This is my friend. Right? This is my friend. <laughs> no, if they wasn't here beforehand, they don't need to be here now. Like mm-hmm. it's no, I can't I can't deal with that. Or mm-hmm. you know, um but what? What about exes turned friendships? No. No. Okay. I'm no, not friends none of my exes. Look at people. I know, like, I know, like, I know no. people that have, are friends with people they've slept with or used to be together with, and now they're just friends. I do know people that have those. Y'all, I'm the only one. Who knows? I know I know people who have those, too. I've, I've but just people like that. Don't accept. It's unacceptable. You friends no. with your exes? <laughs> I only have one and a half, and no. No. no, okay. But I'm saying some I I still have maintained relationships with a person that I did, but I'm not going to I guess I still do have a crush on them a little bit. Uh, so there see, you go. No, I don't so, yeah. I don't I don't do the exes. Um quite frankly, my exes be popping up out the blue following me and I'm just like, <laughs> mm, swipe left like mm-hmm. I just feel like a respect factor. We, especially exes that you had such an intimate yeah. time and relationship with, you know? Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. me and my man, we joke around a lot, and I'm like, you ain't got no exes. And mm-hmm. he's like, well, you don't either. You're right, I don't. But yeah. if we're genuinely speaking about it, why do I need to be an ex with a man that was my first heartbreak? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, that is true. That like, that showed me experiences. or Oh, yeah. You know, and then and your song come on. And like, the next uh, thing you know. You just song come on. <laughs> do y'all feel like dating is a form of prostitution? Yes. You really? No. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> here, here is my thing. And I feel like Jasmine Sullivan talked about it on her uh, album, album yes. Hotel. It was a f- part. And they even say, like, marriage. Like, they, they were saying, like, you know, you know, if you know that you know, your husband, like, you want him to take out the trash or do something, buy you something nice. You know, you throw him a little something real quick. <laughs> and then, you know, he gonna do it for you. And so the women was like, oh, hell yeah, I guess I've been a ho since 1972. Oh, my God. <laughs> 1972. But, I mean, it shouldn't be that way. But I feel like in our society today, it has kind of turned into that. Like, you know, it's, you know, if he buys me this, then I'm gonna sleep with him. You know what I mean? Or if... She sleeps with me, then I'm gonna get her this. It, you know what I mean? Uh, like it, it does. It, what's prostitution? Yeah, uh, that's can true. I, can it, I, okay, okay. Let's I, let's, I, let's not disrespect the institution of marriage. Okay, so here, and it's my opinion. So we'll take marriage out of. We'll just talk about dating. No, what I'm saying okay. is, when you're talking about with uh, Jasmine Sullivan, talking about when you you're with your man and all this other stuff, that's just like. Me doing that outside of being with my husband is like when you in a a marriage or if that's your man that to me that's a whole different, different. thing. Y'all are interchanged. Y'all y'all doing each other favors left and right. He doing for you, you doing for him. That's y'all partnership. That's what y'all do. Mm-hmm. If I'm out here single as hell and just dating around and getting things for in exchange for Sex, that is, that's a different level. It's a different type of thing. I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. We we all giving and taking. Right. But I just think when the t- the titles are different, it, it, it it's changes. a different thing. So you're I saying, can agree with that. So, okay. Did like, I are you are you prostituting okay. with your boyfriend if he gives buys you a bag? Yes, because I'm dropping it low. <laughs> <laughs> So you saying when there's titles involved, then <laughs> nah, when nah, it does not become prostitution. But that's like mm-hmm. calling something. I get what you're saying, though. So, like, right, if we're just going on a date, right, and stuff, and, you know, he pays for the date, but then he feels like he needs to get something in return. That's a form of, Some people have contracts. Some people actually have agreements before they get there. That's crazy. So, like, I'm going to come out and see you, but I need $300. Mm. That type of stuff is, it's transactional when I think of prostitution. I mean, I'm still in it. <laughs> Lauren, go ahead and wrap it up on, on that note. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> y'all, we could go and talk about this forever, but Part we got we got to go. So thank you for listening <laughs> and watching. And just ladies, remember the next time somebody tries to call you a crazy bitch, you got to ask yourself, "Am I? <laughs> am, am, I really? am I really? Am I really? I don't know." Because I don't know. But I know I, I need a, a mimosa because that really sounded yes, good. Yes, that was a mimosa for sure. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye.